Hello, party people. So I'm just coming on here really quick. I'm going to give you guys a second to come in. And, and we are doing this live through Zoom today simply because I want to, hello, simply because I want to make sure that we're coming on I want to make sure that we're getting the best of best of everything. So give me a two if you can hear me okay. Give me a two if you can hear me okay. Hello. So I'm going to be like looking over. Actually, let me move this right here. So I'm not like looking over there. I'll put this phone right here so we can have a double whammy. So today... I want us to do something a little different. Give me a two if you can hear me. Everybody give me a two if you can hear me. Give me a two if you can hear me. Mm -mm. Yes. Okay. So I, like I said, I am here on Zoom. And what we are going to do, we are going to first um, share the screen a little bit because I want this video to have context, especially for the people who will be watching this on replay and will not get a chance to ask, ask <laughs> me certain questions. So I am about to share the screen with you because I really want you to see something. Okay, if I can get to where... Here we go. Hold on, babies. All right. So here we go. So here are right here. Sorry, it took a minute to get here. Woo! This is your first live. Welcome. Okay. So this one is from a beauty named Mary E. Okay. So this um, comment was left on the apple cider vinegar currants can ruin your hair. Now, let's read her comment. And then after we read her comment, this is what's going to jump us into our conversation. You said, you're so right. I had long hair down to my waist and back taking really good care of it. Then I saw all of the hype about ACV and that stands for apple cider vinegar for those of you who don't know and tried it in the shower. She tried apple cider vinegar, uh, apple cider vinegar is in the shower. The next day I noticed my hair looked broken and a million different lengths. It seemed like every hair got cut in a different length. It looked like hell, especially when the sun shined on it. I was embarrassed that I had even used apple cider vinegar on my hair without reading more info into what it can actually do to your hair. I appreciate your video so much. It's very informative, even though I'm a little late on seeing this and the damage is already done, but now I know better. And I recently just did cut about seven or eight inches off my hair. I know that I should have done more, but I'll eventually get there where all of the damage is gone. Never again will I use apple cider vinegar, not even twice a year. It's not worth the risk to me, okay? So that is that. So moving along, we're just going to do, actually, no, we're gonna stop the share for a second and we're gonna talk about this. So let me know in the comments, give me a five if you've ever, you know, use apple cider vinegar or your hair or even if because this isn't this conversation isn't going to be a hundred percent about apple cider vinegar this conversation today is mainly about you know just the the natural hacks or the hair growth hacks and shortcuts that we do to grow out our hair so give me a five if you've ever tried out any of these hacks and the only reason that I read that to you was not to, of course, not to embarrass her because she was sharing on the open forum, right? But just to show you guys, A, my intention, right? Because um, the reason that I made these videos, and mind you, the video that we just read, I mean, the comment that we just read was from a video that I made years and years ago. And of course, when my hair was shorter by choice, you know, it was a little harder for people to receive from me. And I was really just trying to share, 
you know, the things that I've learned throughout my 14 year career. And the reason that I want to have this conversation, I want you guys to feel very comfortable, ask your questions. Let's have a little bit. Hey, girl, let's have a little bit of transparency because I had um, three calls today, right? Three coaching calls. We'll talk about that in a second if you guys want to book a coaching call with me. But I had three coaching calls today and all three coaching calls we were dealing with damage done from information that they had gathered on YouTube. And this isn't to disrespect one person in general. We're not about to go back and forth. And like, this isn't to try to start an argument with anybody specific. This is just so Black women on social media, because we're the ones having these conversations. And I really want us to really look at the science of hair and let's look at our patterns and our track records, right? Because along with apple cider vinegar, another thing that everybody's into doing right now is the bagging method. And the bagging method is something that a YouTuber made up where they tell you to take some leave-in conditioner and then put oil, some type of oil on top of the leave-in conditioner and then leave a plastic bag on your head and go to sleep for hours. That is a literally the worst thing you can do to your hair and I'm not here to bash anyone, but the same, one of the same people who's pioneered the whole like, you know, bagging method thing, just cut their hair. So I really want you guys to pay attention. The bagging method is literally the easiest way to give yourself hydro fatigue. The easiest way to give it because for one, a leave-in conditioner is not meant to be left in your hair for like hours wet. Like a leave-in conditioner is meant to get your hair from point A to point B, from alpha keratin to beta keratin in a short time period, right? Not for hours on end. And then water and oil don't mix, period. So even with wet hair on top of, with, with your leave-in conditioner, which is nothing but water and oil and a couple of additives, and then to put um, a, a oil on top of water, and it's a scientific fact that oil and water do not mix, and then to trap it and leave the cuticle open for hours. Your hair, people have the illusion that their hair feels better because it feels silky, but in reality, your hair is just feeling silkier because it's, it's on its way to start to break. Hydro fatigue is anytime the cuticle is left open for long periods of time. So sis, you doing the bagging method, you not locking no type of moisture in nothing. You are leaving your hydrogen bomb broken under a plastic bag as you sleep and rub up against it for hours, for hours. The quickest way to give yourself hydro fatigue. So I want to go ahead and take some questions from you guys because I feel like most of the issues that everyone is running into, I know for a fact, the, <laughs> the majority of the issues that everybody is running into with their hair it's coming from all of these team natural hacks. And every time one team natural hack gets thrown in the trash, they come out with a brand new one. And then everybody starts following that one. So I really want you to pay attention. Hydra fatigue. Unfortunately did that too many times. Deal with that. I did the bagging with Camille Rose. Unfortunately, now, now I got a mess. I don't know what to do. Like, and that's what I mean. Don't get mad at me when I say this. These women are freaking playing in their hair. And as they playing in their hair, they're recording it. And after they get done recording, they edit and they post to you guys and then you guys get a you guys will watch it it gives them a whole bunch of views and then all of you follow it and it between now between today and the day that the first bagging method video has came up has not been like a year and already the girls who start doing it have cut the majority of the hair that they've grown out since they began to do the bagging method off
Oh, let me get my phone so I can read your comments. Hold on. You know, if you have hydro fatigue, if your your hair is always breaking off, if it's always snapping, if you're noticing a whole lot of breakage, a little bit of shedding is normal, but if you're noticing abnormal amounts of shedding, if your hair is like really mushy and stringy to the touch, um, stuff like that. Try everything, rice water, bag and method, stop everything. And the thing is, y'all are not freaking guinea pigs. Like if YouTubers want to make themselves guinea pigs, if they if a YouTuber comes up with a with a new thing, okay, let's say they call it the unicorn nipple method. Wait about a year. Give it about a year. Give about eight or nine months. And see how long the YouTuber that told you about this bagging method and all of this stuff. See how long she did she does it. See how long she sticks around doing it. And then, oops, sorry guys. See how long, see how long she goes about doing the whole bagging method. See how long she'll go you know, like doing this method that she teaches, wait about, they come up with a new method, wait about eight or nine months, and then see if they're still doing that same method or if they're coming up with the new one. If eight or nine months later, they still doing the bagging method every day, then okay, go ahead and jump off the bridge with them. But y'all will watch a video, they'll upload a video on Monday, teaching y'all a new technique, you going and buying the stuff Tuesday morning and doing the thing Tuesday night with them. So you a test dummy right along with her. Like stop jumping off the bridge just because they saying jump. Like and we have to use our intellect, you guys. Don't get mad at me. Y'all know not to watch. If y'all sensitive, I'm just being real, okay? How do you feel about caffeine for hair growth? If you gonna use caffeine for hair growth, drink it. Stop putting stuff in your hair. <laughs> like don't just go putting your coffee grounds in your hair if you don't know what you're doing. And this is something, I'm not gonna go too deep into this because the Guru one-on-one -on -one members, I went really deep into it with them. But you guys have to remember, I use aloe for an example, right? So people be like, oh, you can put aloe in your hair. The way that aloe is put into a product and the way that you guys use aloe are two completely different things, okay? A chemist's job is to know how to separate the positive and negative properties from the aloe vera plant. So a chemist will get aloe vera and she knows all of the positive properties. So she pulls all of those and then she knows how to pull out all of the negative properties and she pulls out all of those and sits it to the side, right? And so then, <laughs> and so then, then after you do that, after they separate the negative and the positive properties, then they just go ahead and use the positive properties inside of the product formulation. They're not just going and getting the aloe vera plant and throwing it in a bowl and bottling it and giving it to you. So that's what I mean. Like when everybody's like, oh, the caffeine in coffee is great for hair. If you see coffee powder or coffee grounds in a product, the chemist has separated the positive and negative properties of coffee and then put it inside of a hair product. So unless you know how to do the same thing that a chemist knows how to do, which is separating the, ne the negative properties and the positive properties outside of something, then don't put it in your hair, okay? Like, you are not Folgers. No. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup, not in your hair. No. And this is the thing. Black. Black women, the, the number one thing that Black women ask me on a regular basis, do not get in your feelings. If you're sensitive, this is not the place for you, okay? 
the number one issue that black women have is the fact that black women are under the illusion that their hair does not create or hold moisture. And that is not true. Black women really believe that God made every other race of woman on the face of this earth with oil coming from the hair, except for them. Black women really believe that. That's not true. If you meet a woman who wears her hair naturally straight all the time, like whether it's a suppress, whether it's a short pixie cut, she's washing her hair every week. Why? Because at the beginning of the week, your hair is all like bouncing and behaving. But the longer you go through the week, your hair begins to look stringy. It loses its body. Why is that? It's not because there's something wrong with your hair, sis. It's because there's oil on your hair now. Now your hair is weighed down with oil. Before, when it was body full and light, it was full of body because it was weightless. The natural sebum for your, from your scalp had not started traveling down the hair shaft yet. But see, the problem with Black women, we believe that our hair doesn't um, produce oil and we don't comb our hair. And the only way that you can get the natural sebum from the scalp to the ends is if you comb it. But Black women are scared of combs and brushes. Black women comb in their hair with their fingers. So yeah, it's a little harder to slide down microscopic amounts of sebum down hundreds and thousands of hair shafts with four fingers because the thumb don't count. I'm just keeping it 100. That's what's wrong because every everybody's hair creates oil. Give me a tool if you're somebody in here who wears their hair straight most of the time, or if you're somebody who wears their hair on a short pixie cut, you're washing your hair every week because it goes from body full to stringy. Your hair not just getting stringy because it's old. That's oil, that's sebum. But your sebum isn't getting from your root to your ends on your naturally curly hair, sis, because you only comb in your hair once a week, once a month, if even that. I'm just keeping it real. Don't get mad at me. If you're not one of those people, then I'm not talking to you. But the majority of Black women, and I'm, I'm speaking from personal experience because I did hair for 14 years, and I had to have a policy and procedure that said, I swear to God. I wish I had uh, uh, one of my old clients in here right now. I had a policy that said that if your hair had not been washed within the last two months that I wasn't doing your hair, I swear to God. Because I would have women come and book an appointment with me and the first time that anybody's touched their hair with a comb, a brush, some water, some shampoo or anything, it's been like six months. I'm the first person that's touched their hair with a comb or a brush in six months. That, that, that's fact. I don't care who feel a way about it. That was my life. I had a, and anybody who's ever booked, if I have any of my ex-clients on here, anybody who's ever booked an appointment with me knows that they would laugh and be like, oh my God, Sam, you really have to put that? Yes. It was a part of my policy and procedure. If you book a silk press with me and you have not washed your hair within the last two months, I was not doing it. <laughs> so we do be we do do be a baggy method that we're leaving and him to like y'all use products as directed how why are we listen to the and i'm not once again don't watch this if you sensitive just leave because mm. think about how I, like how much sense that makes for you to trust the person who just made a video on youtube more than you trust the person that you gave your money to y'all will follow the, the directions of a youtuber faster than you follow the directions on the back of the bottle. That's crazy. Like you, you trust a YouTuber that don't have no formal education about nothing 
more than you trust the person that you just gave your money to. Cause she, you, you watching her stuff for free. You ain't even paying her, but you just spent money on this product and won't turn the bottle around to just read the directions. I'm reading y'all comments. That's why I'm looking down. See, you did my hair years ago, 2016. Oh, hi. And it was the best blowout I ever had. Oh, didn't even know you did videos. <laughs> Thanks, algorithm. Excited to unlearn some things, been watching and taking notes. Thank you so much. And oh, you kind of see me before, girl, so we go together. And this is the thing, like, that's why I come on here because I want y'all to unlearn stuff and don't get in your feelings. I'm your friend. I'm like your cousin or something. Your cousin ain't in your face like, oh, girl, okay, so honey, I think she's like, girl, that's just dumb. I'm your cousin that's saying, girl, that's dumb. Stop doing that. The bagging method is the, st that's some stupid shit, okay? Put leave-in conditioner and oil on your hair and then sleep in it for two hours, living on for two hours of sleep, but that's some stupid shit. And then after y'all do that, everybody trying to figure out why their hair it keeps breaking off. Please understand, hydro fatigue can set in just that one night. Just that one night of you sleeping on, on us and depending on what type of conditioner it is, so because don't be low porosity and use a protein-based leave-in conditioner that you sleeping in with oil on top of it that you laying on and rubbing on on a plastic bag, oh, baby, your hydro fatigue will be set in by the time you wake up. Oh, yeah. And then it'll gradually weathering, hair weathering. Look it up. Hair weathering. Yes, I'm telling you, if, 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 we, if y'all just start washing y'all hair on a regular basis and stop being scared of combs and brushes and blow dryers, y'all be okay. Because it is, it makes no sense. Like you'll go spend three, four hundred dollars on, on, on 24 inch bundles. And that hair was cut off of a woman who grew it out, shampooing and conditioning her hair and combing and brushing, combing and brushing her hair every day. She comb and brush her hair every single day, and her hair twenty four inches long, and she grow it over and over again, and cut it off and sell it again. Brushing her hair every day, but you can't figure out why your hair don't grow, and you comb your hair maybe once a month. If the shoe don't fit, don't put it on. I ain't talking to you. You know who I'm talking to, and hey, y'all not gonna sit here and act like y'all don't do it, cause. I did hair for 14 years. And like I said, I had to set a policy that said, if you ain't washed your hair in this amount of time, I'm not doing your hair. You said, doesn't dirt cut hair like it cuts carpet fibers? Yeah, but that's not even the main thing. A lot of people think that um, all of these forms of alopecia are coming from, or all of these different forms of dermatitis are coming from, you know, weaves and braids. But a lot of these forms of dermatitis and alopecia are coming from dirty scalps. Because understand you have a sweat gland that is responsible, and I'm not gonna say too much, once again, Guru 101, but the sweat gland is responsible for waste, for releasing waste from the body. So some of the same exact waste that is released in your urine is released through your scalp. It's, it's a water base that's coming through your scalp. The sweat that's coming through your scalp, look it up. The same type of substance that is in your urine is being released through your sweat gland. So if you're a person that's only washing your hair once every three to four months, then the same type of toxins that the body is releasing through your urine, you have it all over your scalp. 
Not to mention, you also on top of this, uh, on top of the sweat gland in your scalp, you also have a sebaceous gland that is responsible for releasing oil. Not only does the sebaceous gland release oil, it releases an acid to clean off excess sebum on the scalp to prevent the follicles from becoming blocked. So if you're a person who wants to believe that dirt makes your hair grow, if you're a person who wants to go months and months without washing your hair, you have the same exact type of um, things, that are, the same toxins that are being released in your urine that's all over your scalp. Fact, period, period. And if you have... Um, if you haven't washed your hair, you have acid eating away at the acid sebum on your scalp. So a lot of people that think they got dry scalp, that's not even dry scalp. That's just calcified acid and calcified, I mean, not, yeah, calcified acid and calcified bacteria on the top layer of the scalp, period. <clears throat> Scientific fact. I wash my hair at least once a week. I don't see how people go wash it. I don't mean neither. But no, don't put oil, like stop mixing stuff. Rose water is great on its own. If you go add anything to it, maybe add a couple of drops of essential oil or something like that. But no, the ro I don't I don't even add essential oil to my rose water. It's fine, just like it is. It has enough botanicals. It is fine on its own. Let's stop trying to be chemists. Leave it alone. Use the rose water on its own. Don't mix it with nothing. Remember, oil and water don't mix. So whatever oil you add to it isn't going to mix with it because oil and water don't mix. So leave the rose water alone. Just leave it just like that is. <clears throat> <clears throat> Only products in my hair all week are my leave-in heat protecting from wash day. Yes. But day four, four, my hair is greasy from sebum. I don't need anything else. Wash week. And this right here is one of my members. Look, it's that simple. Like most people, oh, no, it's not that simple. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All you need. Shampoo, condi I'm sorry, a scrub once a month on the scalp, scrub once a month on the scalp on your skin cell turnover week, shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, heat protected serum. That's it. That's it. If you're not, you, you not straightening your hair, instead of a heat protectant, you can get a mousse. I got a video coming really soon. Hey, Keisha. Hey, the master stylist girl. <clears throat> but and a foam wrap. That's it. That is it. You do not need a whole bunch of products. This beauty just said she shampooed her hair, conditioned, followed her routine, which was leave-in conditioner and probably a heat protected. And she hasn't had to put anything else on her hair. You know why? Because her scalp is clean and clear. Her natural sebum can come down from her scalp and down her hair shaft. And she's not afraid to comb her hair. So she can help guide the natural sebum from her scalp down her hair shaft so her hair isn't dry the majority of women who complain about dry hair don't comb their hair on a regular basis how often do you comb your hair that's not a rhetorical question if you if, how often do you comb your hair if you if you say that your hair if you're saying that your hair is dry and you can't retain moisture how many times in a week do you comb your hair <clears throat> or people sleeping in color. That's what I'm saying. What do you think about growth oils like raw growth oil? Well, I've never read their ingredient list, but if you look on the back of do grow oils ingredient list and go and check the oils and if all of those, if all of the oils and do grow oils formulation are non-comedogenic, then use it. <laughs> yeah. 
you said, hi, I get my hair straightened every month and I want to know what is the best way to make sure my curls revert back every time. I'm Dominican and my salon, they use quite a lot of heat to get their job done. You have to go ask them because they use a whole lot of heat and their purpose is not to make your curls revert back. That's not their purpose. That's not their point. So I don't want to disrespect your culture and your people. So go ask them. Since I'll be back, I'm just moving my nose around. Hold on, player. Because it's looking like a booger. And it's not a booger. My bad. <clears throat> it wasn't a booger, but it was looking like a booger. It wasn't a booger, but it was looking like a booger. I learned not to sit with purple aloe vera in my hair with low porosity. You need to learn not to put aloe in your hair, period, if you have low porosity. <laughs> Do scalp massages actually help with hair growth? growth. I mean, yeah, it helps to uh, increase the blood flow and the blood circulation. But if you have blocked follicles, no, it does. It doesn't do anything because your follicles are blocked. Let me take my cards out of here. No, love, you said can keratin protein in, shanty, in shampoo be used in low porosity hair? No. If protein is in the label, no. No. No protein. No protein of any way, shape, or form. Anything to say protein, I don't care what it is. Pea protein. Unicorn nipple protein. Avocado protein. It don't matter. Any type of protein, low porosity hair cannot have it. Can you use a curling iron twice a week on high porosity hair. You shouldn't use a curling iron twice a week on any level of porosity, but especially not high porosity. I have high porosity hair. Our cuticle is always open. So yeah, no, you shouldn't use the use it twice a week on anybody here. Being team natural should be about doing what's best for your hair, not following trends. Watch natural curls became popular. It, it became us versus them. I'm trying to follow the facts. And it's ignorant. <laughs> us versus them. Because the, the to me, the team natural community just went left. Because it should have just been about Black women learning who they are and learning the science of hair. But it's like it was a it was a brand new form of segregation. I don't really I don't feel like the team natural community has really done too much of anything other than cause another form of division, because instead of it just going, OK, let's let Black women be proud of their hair and how they look. It went, OK, let's now let's separate the Black girls. So there go the real black girls over there. The girls that, that want to wear their natural hair and that want to wear their hair curly, those are the real black girls. But the girls over here, they're not really proud to be black girls and they're not really natural and they ain't 100% black because they would got a relaxer or you straighten your hair or that's not really your natural hair because you got color in it. Just And it, it's, it's just been this never ending flow of competition, arguing, everybody trying new products every five minutes and because y'all see so many youtubers every time they make a new video they introduce a new product line to you then you think that you have to follow suit and do the same thing so you just jump on the bandwagon and you start becoming a, a product junkie too and just think about how much bread y'all make in these companies because all of the products that they use and not everybody's not necessarily sponsored a lot of times you buy the stuff yourself but they got the money to go buy it themselves. And y'all just got all these products. All these products that you shouldn't even be using because it don't match your porosity, your density, nothing. But you just listen to what she said 
She told you to buy it, but don't read the directions. Follow what she say. And now everybody just in this constant wheel trying to figure out how to grow their hair back, trying to figure out how to fix damage. Like it's a never ending cycle. I learned not to detangle my hair when it's wet and to put layers of, give me a two if you've noticed the difference in your hair since you've stopped detangling your hair wet and use oil in, in a replacement. I've heard natural say, and to avoid mineral oil, is there anything wrong with that? Absolutely. Mineral oil, okay, let me explain. Mineral oil comes from the same place that the gas from your car comes to. So let me explain. Remember, you guys can look this up. <clears throat> Whenever um, in the sea, um, in the ocean, right? Whenever animals like plant, I'm um, plant, Lord, uh, the, um, the fishes, marine life, thank you. Whenever marine life passes away, everything goes to the bottom of the sea, right? And so, and I'm talking about dead fish, dead squid, dead whatever. Whatever used to be swimming, it dies, go to the bottom, right? And then it begins to decompose and it turns into this thick black tar, right? That we also call fossil fuel. Mm. So what they do, and you can Google it, they have this big ass machine, and they take the machine and they put it all, it goes all the way to the bottom of the sea, okay? And then after it go all the way, I will go to the video right now because we on Zoom, but they're going to do copyright because I already tried. Anyway, it goes all the way to the bottom of the sea. And then once it goes all the way there, it pulls this thick black tar up and then they put it in this big ass machine and they heat it up to different temperatures. At one temperature, that fossil fuel turns into petroleum. At another excuse me, at another temperature, it turns into the same gas that you pump in your car with. At another temperature, it turns into mineral oil, okay? So mineral oil is fossil fuel. Mineral oil is little dead sea creatures that was at the bottom of the sea. So, I mean, if you want to use that, and obviously it's not just dead sea creatures, whatever floated to the bottom and mixed in with the dead decomposing flesh is what's in your mineral oil. So if you still want to use it, Go ahead, Jack, but it's not my thing. Thank you, Sam. I've been doing the challenge for a full two months and now my hair has been so much better. Ooh, after every wash day, when I look at my scalp, I can see the natural oils coming through. Boom, yes. Because peep game, in the seven day challenge, the first day, I'll just teach you like everything that you think you know, I know that. Like everything that you do, everything that you've learned in the past, let's just forget it for five minutes. Give me a month, give me, give me about 30 days and not even that. Give me about a week. I just lie. Everybody that's in the challenge, no. I'll be like, give me about seven days. And after seven days, if you don't see a change in your hair, go back to the same stuff. And you can hear it here first, or you can head over to my website and look at a lot more <laughs> testimonials just like this. Anybody that's done my seven day challenge can vouch for this. I tell you to use less products, not more. By the end of my seven day challenge, you'll start off with your wash day taking you nine hours. And by the time you've done my seven day challenge and made that a part of your lifestyle for a month, your wash day gonna be an hour or less, swear to God. And you don't have to take it from me. <laughs> you can take it from people who've been doing the challenge for months. You learned about scientific brushing from seeing. We about to grow some hair in 2022. Oh, <laughs> when not in a protective style every day. Good. Every single day. Thank you, Miss Battle. Thank you. I love main choice growth oil. Ooh. What do you think about the Revere dryer? It's cool. I got it in there. Oh, no, I mean, no, no, no. I don't have the Revere dryer, but I have one like it in there. I think it's great, like a piece of chocolate cake.
So Julia Nicole, hey, hey boo. Should we still use hair butters for people that don't straighten their hair? So if you, oh, I was looking like I thought I took my cards off. Um, if you are a person who uh, is doing protective styles, for example, this is a protective style. So I'm not straightening my hair all the time. I only straighten my hair once a month. Um, but for my hair, it was shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, along with um, like a blowout cream, and then a butter to braid my ends down. That's all that's on my hair. Nothing else. And the butter is only on my ends. That's it. That's all. Actually, make sure you check out my um, the video after we get off of here. Everybody go head over to the video that I posted earlier today, and it shows my exact regimen on um, what's up on what's going on up under here. Should we still use here? Oh, already right, there. Once you cut off split ends. What can you do to prevent future split ends? Just keep up with your trims. The same way that you keep you, everybody has a set, like they know when it's going to be time to fix their brakes on their car. Like you, everybody has a certain regimen for everything. So when it comes to your hair, when it comes to your trims and stuff like that, just set up a regimen. So every 10 weeks, go get a trim. Period. Just go get a trim. If you're keeping up with your trim every 10 weeks, your trim will be like centimeters, like not inches. Like cent my trims look like fairy dust being sprinkled, like just like, like you can't even see it. It's like little fairy dust. It looks like little black salt. It's so short. So I say every 10 weeks. It Once you cut them off, that's you'll be fine. And have a routine that is the least amount of mechanical damage as possible. Don't break your ends and keep them maintained. Boom. Cam, thank you. I should have read yours before I answer that. Yeah, that's some of them, but most of them specialize in natural hair since the majority of Dominicans have Afro hair. The ones that don't sneak and relax her. Yeah, so I recommend you go ask her. I can't. Cause I don't do hair the way that they do hair, and I don't, and I just so I don't just da, 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 da. go ask her boo. If that's who you going to, that's who you giving your coin to boo. You gotta go ask her. It's almost a hundred people in here. I can't see how many likes that we have, but I think that we should get some more. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, it's, it's right. Me and my auntie almost beat up some Dominicans, put a relaxer on my little cousin here without permission. That just made my, my head itch. Can someone explain the bagging method to me? It's stupid. This is it. You take your hair once it's dry already, and then you spray some leave-in conditioner on your ends, boom, 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 and then you take some oil, and you put oil on top of your wet hair with leave-in conditioner on it, and then you take a plastic bag, and you put it on your ends, and then you go, and you leave it on for two hours, or you go to sleep, and then when you wake up, then you style your hair with the leave-in and the oil that's been sitting there with an open cuticle all night. That's what the bagging method is. Every time I say it, it irritates me because it's dumb, especially because the, the point of doing the bagging method is to seal the cuticle, right? It's to seal and lock in moisture. But listen to why this is dumb. Because once again, the reason that you're doing it is to seal and lock in moisture. When... Leave-in conditioner is formulated with water. Water has a hydrogen bond in it. Your hair is made up of three bonds, disulfide bond, salt bond, and a hydrogen bond. When hydrogen bonds meet, they break. So when the hydrogen bond within your water-based leave-in conditioner meets your hair, the hydrogen bond in your hair, the bond breaks. So you go to sleep with a broken hydrogen bond for eight hours, you laying on a broken hydrogen bond 
for eight hours. And then remember cold water is what closes the cuticle, but not if the hair is already coated and mixed with oil because water and oil do not mix. So, and mind you, hydro fatigue, look it up on your own. Hydro fatigue sets in when the cuticle is not being is not able to close on its own. And when the hydrogen bond is constantly broken over and over and over again, right? That's when hydro fatigue sets in, when the hydrogen bond is broken for long periods of time or too much. So if you do the bagging method, leaving your hydrogen bond broken for eight hours or however long you're going to sleep, and then you coming in the house and styling it or doing whatever it is that you're going to do, hydro fatigue and weathering, it's only a matter of time before your ends begin to start thinning out slowly but surely they're going to start to thin out you'll start to see holes. You'll start to see lines of demarcation. The bagging method is stupid. I learned about walnut oil from you, Sam. My hair is so smooth when brushing. Thank you for all you do with educating us Black people. No problem, sister. Oh, walnut oil is life. Walnut oil is alive and boo. Like if you think walnut oil is bombing your hair, just try adding walnuts to your diet, but raw walnuts though, like raw walnuts. So like start adding it to like, um, maybe like your smoothies. I know it sounds weird, but you can add it to like your breakfast smoothies when it's mixed with a whole bunch of other stuff you want matter or you can use it as like a topper for your salad if you you know still eat cheese and stuff you can like mash it up right and I would say um, one thing that's super cool to do you could get some parmesan cheese and then some raw walnuts and like put it in a food processor and make it like you know real crunchy like a crumble and then sprinkle that on top of your salad or that that could be like if you have macaroni, not macaroni, Lord, um, spaghetti, that could be like your Parmesan topping. So like just try to add raw walnuts to your diet. Ooh, like, ooh, ooh. Should you put oil on top of your moisturizer? No, baby. Oh. A moisturizer is formulated with oil. No, that's like rinsing off with water and water. No, pick one. You don't need to layer products. That's why most of us are confused. And that's why most of us are experiencing breakage and thinning because we believe we have to layer on products because our hair doesn't produce oil. Your hair produces its own oil, but the reason that you don't see it is because you don't comb your hair enough and you pack your scalp and your hair shaft full of product. So the sebum can never get down the hair shaft. Black women's hair produces oil like everybody else and anybody who says different does not know what they're talking about, period. Black women have a sebaceous gland, just like white women, just like Asian women, just like Puerto Rican women, every other race, Samoan, every woman walking the face of this earth has a sebaceous gland. Animal, my dog got a sebaceous gland. The fuck? You think my English bulldog got a, a, a sebaceous gland, but black women don't? You got an oil gland, sis. You just got it blocked with products. I just joined the guru forum, got a notebook pull from your videos, where to start, how to join the challenge. I'm two months postpartum. Actually, that's such a good question. So I wasn't going to talk about this today, but unless somebody brought it up and you brought it up. So um, I'm just being honest with all of the stuff that I have going on. I don't have time to do another seven day challenge the way that I did it before. So coming very, very soon, we will have a ebook, a full ebook with a very, very detailed breakdown of my seven day challenge.
Okay. So I'll do a, the ebook is going to be pretty extensive. I've been working on it for months. Okay. So once it is finished, I will release it to you like that. And that's how we'll do the seven day challenge from now on. So that way, once you, you know, purchase your ebook, then you'll have it to go to whenever you need to, whenever you need to, you can go to it because the seven day challenge isn't just for seven days. It's a whole lifestyle. So within the ebook that's coming, there'll be, um, you know, little journal entries for you to fill out and stuff like that. So it'll be a lot more hands on and it won't just be a video that you watch real quick. And then you just have a couple of days to get to it before I delete it. All right. So give me a two if you're excited about the seven day challenge ebook. It's coming really soon. So I hope that answers that for you and be patient with me. You say, don't be a gerbil on the wheel. Think and research for yourself. Yes. I'm an oil on dry scalp. So a lot of times, and once again, I can only give out so much information, but a lot of times what appears to be dry scalp isn't dry scalp. You actually have a clogged follicle. And then because your follicle is clogged, your skin cell turnup recycle is being thrown off. So you think that your scalp is dry, but really you have dry patches that were not able, dry dead skin, I'm sorry, that was not able to fall off because your cuticle is blocked. So you, once again, you don't need oil on your scalp. Your scalp has a natural oils coming from it. So if you have dry scalp, you need to unblock your follicle so that the natural oil that God made to come out of your body can come out. You, there is a, there is a oil, like in here, there is a hole, like hundreds of microscopic holes that produce oil on your scalp. Keep your scalp clear. Do an exfoliator on your scalp. I guarantee you. Do an exfoliator, uh, exfoliator on your scalp. Stop putting oils and butters on your scalp and comb your hair on a regular basis and watch your scalp stop being dry. I'm telling you what I know for a definite fact. I always thought that bad method shit was dumb. I love you. Hey, it's K. I love you. I do. I do. You are my spirit animal. I love you. <laughs> yes, animals have some. That's what I'm saying. Black women. So you think puppies and shit are more powerful than you? You think horses and donkeys are more powerful than you? Every, every warm blooded animal on this mammal on this planet, even some cold blooded ones have a sebaceous gland. Sorry, y'all. <clears throat> y'all messages again. Who created the bag of messages? Somebody dumb. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm nothing. So um, I see somebody asks about about scientific brushing. As much as I would love to show you, uh, demonstrate scientific brushing to you, I'm not getting jumped by Guru one-on-one -on -one members. And um, scientific brushing is something that I promised them that they would only have over there. And so I do week, like monthly scientific brushing videos over there. Excuse me. <clears throat> they actually have one coming next week when I take these braids out. So if you are interested in seeing like in-depth, in-depth videos and stuff like that, then sign up to be a member on Google 101. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
Sign up to be a member over there on Guru 101. It's $9.99 a month, less than you pay at the Starbucks or at the McDonald's. <clears throat> but, you know, us YouTubers and social media creators are, you know, building our own platforms because I can make other videos. And, you know, these videos that I make on YouTube will maybe I'll spend hours and hours and hours doing it. And then like 500 people see it. Whereas over on the Guru 101, every single member that is over there gets every video whenever they need it. Um, within the Guru 101 discussion group, they'll ask questions and then I'll make a detailed video for everybody. Like some videos are hours, uh, hour long, some videos are 45 minutes long, 20 minutes long, whatever you need, I give it to you over there, but I'm not doing that over here. I love you. I love you though, but I give as much information as I can, but y'all not about to give me junk. Okay. Okay. So like I said, if you need scientific brush and demonstrated you gotta become a guru one-on-one -on -one member we got some members in here give me a four if you're a guru one-on-one -on -one member Ouch. they just got a video what yesterday or day before yesterday so a lot of them probably like Finn already gave us the tea so we'll watch the live on replay <laughs> how can I straighten my natural hair without any type of damage well first you have to know what you're doing so I would say get a mannequin and practice, like get a mannequin that has naturally curly hair and continuously practice straightening that mannequin with the natural curl, naturally curly hair and then keep, like do it three or four times. And then if you notice that the curl pattern is coming back, then you're good. But it takes practice. Like doing a silk press and being a silk press artist, I didn't learn because I went and asked somebody like, how you do that? Like, no, trial and error. I did it for 14 years and nobody verbally taught me anything. It's something that you have to like learn and, and experience and, and have practicing. So there's no one thing that I'm going to be able to say. You'd be like, oh girl, yes. Follow these steps and now you still press artists of the century, girl. It don't work like that, babe. I wish it did, but it don't. Hey, it's Kay. I knew you was from the D. I knew it. I felt it. Let me tell you something. Like when somebody from Detroit is, I can smell it. Not because we smell good. Not, not in a funky way. I just feel it. It's like the way that you was talking. Like, like yeah, I thought that shit was dumb anyway, dog. I thought that shit was dumb as hell. Like that, I knew it. I knew it. I sh why you tell me I should have asked? Love, what about the bagging method with just oil and water? The problem is water. Water, what's water? H2O, that H stands for hydrogen. Your water got a hydrogen, your, your hair got a hydrogen bond. Just water and oil. Water and oil don't mix, guys. Why do y'all think oil and water is going to keep moisture in your hair when the two don't even mix? They don't mix. Oil and water don't mix. It's not lacking in anything. No, like, no. A hydrogen bond is going to cause the hydrogen bond in your hair to break. Water and oil, water and leave-in conditioner, the problem with leave-in conditioner is the fact that it's water. <sighs> Come on, y'all. Please stop asking me about that stupid ass bag and mess it. I love y'all, but it's dumb. It is stupid and it's dumb. I love your passion. You make it make sense. You do unbiased, accurate research. <laughs> Thank you. You're a great instructor and teacher. Oh my God, you're making me blush. You want the best standard of living for your students. Great job. Yes. And not even that. I just, I want Black women to stop looking stupid. That's what I want. I'm sorry who feels the way. I want Black women to stop looking dumb. That's what I want. I want other races and women to stop being like, oh my God, why do they do that? My God, what do they do? They know that doesn't work. Like I, I, I want us to stop looking uneducated. Educate yourself first. 
Stop following these girls on social media. The same girls that was telling y'all not to listen to cosmetologists are now going to cosmetology school. Think about that. Y'all favorite YouTubers that's been made y'all stop going to salons, that's made y'all stop trusting professional cosmetologists are going to cosmetology school to learn the things that they taught y'all not to believe in. And what, what do you, you think they're going to come back and teach y'all once they get out of cosmetology school? The same shit that they've been telling y'all not to listen to is what they're going to come back making videos about. <laughs> How soon is it safe to get a relaxer where we're growing my natural hair? Mm, about two inches long. About two, no, like three inches. About, about two inches. Oh, yes. yes. DM me those pictures. Oh, I love you too. Oh, I don't. I'm so ghetto. I don't even have my bills out. Been watching you since you were behind the chair. Hold on, don't look at my junkie closet. But I think I got my bills in here. Bring a ding. Bring a ding. -a. Okay, so. Um, thank you for the donation. And if you want to make a donation, anything um, 20 or under is this bill. And anything 20 or above is this one. Move. Move. <laughs> Don't judge me. All right. Okay. Go shoot away at your questions. Oh my God, a live. I caught a live. Yes. Oh, you caught me and I caught you. We caught each other, boo. What you want to talk about? Do you have any questions? Also, one thing we're going to do too today, if there is anyone interested in coming up here on Zoom, well, we can do that. And one thing that we can do too, you don't necessarily have to come on hmm. yeah well no i'm not gonna say that yet um if you want to come on zoom with me here on the screen um to ask me a question but remember you can't get like it, it can't be no three-year conversation okay because remember i do charge for one-on-one -on -one consultation so it's gonna be like some basic stuff and then it don't necessarily have to be a consultation Question, maybe if you got something out of my videos before, I don't know. But if you did, go ahead and send an email here. Hold on. Hold on. So go ahead. And it's in the email here. And then once you send um, the email here, then they'll go over and send you the link. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute, really, hold on, just really quick. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on, player. Don't go. Hold on. Hold on, player. Hold on. Hold on, player. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, just go ahead. Email me there. And then if, if you want to come up on stage. And then... Once once you email, then we'll send you the invite link and then you can come join. Okay. It's just my nose ring. I keep looking like something else. Okay. 
Question, my hair grows best when it's straight or loose texture. Why is that? Why is it that, that way if I'm black? Because yo, the natural sebum is able to travel from your from your scalp down your hair shaft with no interruption. That's it. It's that's not a complicated answer. Because most most people, most naturals are having problems with their hair being dry because they don't comb their hair enough and their hair is curly all the time. So the natural sebum does not have a chance to travel down the hair shaft. The the sebum and the sebum that's coming from your scalp is about a lot more than your hair having oil because the sebum is what is helping your hair to retain its length. The natural sebum that is coming out of your body is not just oil based. It has enough botanicals. First of all, it's engineered by God. <laughs> That's number one, it's engineered by God and the natural sebum from your scalp has everything that your hair needs to retain its length. So that's why the natural sebum can flow down your hair shaft easy without any problems. And then you're combing your hair on a regular basis. So you're able to retain your length because you are not raking through your hair on a regular basis, having globs of hair in your brush just to comb and detangle your hair because you never let your hair get tangled. That's why, babe, none complicated. Favorite brand of wigs with the lace of her love. You trying to look cute. Um, I don't really have a favorite wig brand. If you go look on my channel, I have like a couple of um a couple of companies that I featured and I don't really feat I don't feature companies unless I think their products are good. So all of theirs are really good. So just go on my YouTube channel and look through the ones that I already have. Up. How many estimated wash days? Wait, what? How many estimated wash days do you think it should take for hair to revert back after a silk press? My roots have not completely reverted back almost midway to the ends. No, baby, you may have heat damage because they should revert back right away. Um, and then I would, I mean, Mine always revert, revert back right away. I but if, if most likely you got heat damage, baby. Hi, Tanya Boo. But try Olaplex. And uh, yeah, who straightened your hair? You or somebody else? Who straightened your hair? Sorry, I missed it, but I was washing low porosity hair twice a week, drying my hair and scalp. Yeah, that's going to definitely be drying, especially with low porosity hair. Off topic, but are you in Vegas still? Are you studying trichology? What's the best way to take care of a newborn infant's hair? Um, am I still in Vegas? Yes, I'm done studying trichology. Um, what's the best way to take care of a newborn infant's hair? Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Just wash their hair a little bit when you wash their butt and that's it. They hair don't even know it's hair yet. Leave it alone. Don't be putting ponytails in it. Don't be trying to braid it up and put no barrettes. Leave their hair alone. They just start being a new person. Leave it alone. Nothing. Is rose water with glycerin bad for your hair? No, no, but you don't need to combine the two. Yeah, and yeah, no oil with the water. Amen. No oil and water. Oil and water don't mix. Rose water, glycerin. Oil and water don't mix. Don't mix no oil in under your water. Rose water don't or no let's not talk about rose water i hate i mean yeah yeah rose water i was thinking of rice water when i said that don't, stop mixing stuff just use the product as is 
I want all y'all to kill the YouTube mentality. The YouTube mentality got y'all ready to be sir mix up pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a smooth. Like everybody want to mix some shit and some shit. Stop mixing stuff. Use the rose water like it is. It is fine on its own. Y'all are not sir mix a lot. Use rose water. It's fine by itself. You do not need to add nothing else to it. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Let it be great. Let it have his chocolate cake. Stop mix, pick, pick it. Stop mixing stuff. Okay, thanks. That red number was given. So it's oh, oh, thank you. Listen, my husband don't even like red hair like that, but I was like, oh boy, I look, I look like something, somebody, somebody exotica, somebody. But seriously, when you when your baby is a newborn, the hair don't even know your baby like, oh, sh oh. <laughs> your baby get out like you get like because remember you got the same soul now that you deal with you was a baby your body just grew but your baby body just got your baby soul just got into the body like where the fuck is we at oh shit like oh god like. Like your baby be trying to keep his head up and you want to put all types of barrettes and, and candy corns and stuff in. No, leave your baby here alone, okay? Just let it be there. Your baby don't even know that it's a baby yet. Just leave your, let, just leave it alone. A hairstylist and she said she used 390 on my, my hair when she did it October 8th. I knew it was heat damage because I am natural and I only straighten my hair to the top. Okay, so, all right, don't get mad. Don't get mad at me when I say this. All right, so there are a lot of things that can lead to your heat damage and not just from the flat iron because I'm gonna be real with you. 390 is not hot enough to give nobody heat damage, but... If you only straighten, what did you say? Hold on. Two to three times a year, right? If you only straighten your hair two to three times a year, it's 365 days in a year. So your heat damage could be connected to something that you did those two, the, the rest of that year. So if your hair wasn't properly detoxed, or properly cleansed, and let's say that you're a person who uses a whole bunch of products, or let's say you're a person who has been doing the lock method, or let's say you had protein overload and didn't know, or let's say you had hydro fatigue and didn't know, you could have had holes in the cuticle, and then once she put the flat iron on your hair, it busts the cuticle open, so it's not necessarily her fault. I'm not being disrespectful, but a lot of women think that just because they have not put heat on their hair, that their hair is healthy. That is not the only way you can damage your hair. Mechanical damage puts holes throughout the hair shaft. And if you've given yourself mechanical damage and then you only go in to get your hair straightened two to three times a year, remember, sis, you're supposed to straighten your hair or, or at least get it blown out to get a trim at least every 10 weeks, right? So if you only get your hair stretched out every two to three times a year, all right, and you're supposed to get a trim every 10 weeks, depending on what you've been doing throughout that time frame, in between, you know, you going to see this professional stylist and you being at home, if you've been doing bagging methods, apple cider vinegar and stuff like that, it's not her fault. You gave yourself heat damage because your cuticle already had holes in it. Because I'm just being honest with you, 390 is not hot enough to give nobody heat damage. I'm just being real. So that's something that I, I think you should go back to the drawing board for. Because what were you doing? What what was your hair regimen in between going to get your hair straightened? Yes, it's, I blow dry my hair every week.
No problem, babe. Yeah, do try all the plex one and all the plex two treatments. You should be good. And the thing is, like, it's not a big what I do not want you to do is cut your hair off. Like, oh, my curls look different. Please don't do that. Because I don't want you to wash and go anyway. So if you do a twist out, you won't even notice. You won't notice the difference between the curl patterns. So please don't cut your hair just because the textures are different. Please promise me you won't. Yes, candy corn. Yes, Tanya. How do you feel about Curl Smith? Um, I have a video on Curl Smith. They're cool. Um, it's like a cool little deep conditioning treatment. There's no comparison to Olaplex though, because it's it's like it's something that you can. It's okay. I, I was. I was. It's it's okay. I made a video about it. I'll find a link and add it in the description box. Why is everybody getting heat damage? Because don't nobody know what they're doing. I never, I have never gotten heat damage, even when my mama used hot comb and she did not know what she was doing. Because don't nobody know. This is why. And hope, I mean, if somebody get mad, they get mad. The problem is everybody's listening to YouTubers, right? And YouTubers are like, okay. Instead of you blow drying your hair the regular way, just braid your hair up and wait all freaking night, let your hair air dry, then come back, hold your hair like this, and then hold the blow dryer right here and just stretch it. But don't use a brush and let your hair be matted and tangled or whatever, and then comb it through. And like, you don't need a leave-in conditioner. You could just use... Um, castro oil so people are using all of the wrong things on their hair for example women think that doing the stretch method and not using a brush and just going like this on their hair until it dry is healthier than using a blow dryer but i want to challenge you why don't you go get a blow dryer right and you can you don't even have to do it on yourself do it on a little mannequin and get a piece of hair and i want you to split it in two on one side, I want you to do it like this. Like what you be doing with the blow dryer. Just holding it there for years. And then time that, time, do the timer. How long it's going to take you to, and did you get it dry? Okay. And then I want you to take the same upside section on the other side of your hair and get a paddle brush and put the brush right here hold it right here and blow dry your hair normal and time both on how long it's going to take both of them to get dry. It's the same blow dryer with the same amount of heat. One with you holding it like that is going to take like double the time to dry as it's going to take over here, but you just hitting it with the blow dryer a couple of times. That's why most people have heat damage because everybody's trying to do all of these tricks and gets and gadgets don't use leave-in conditioner. It's a scam. Use this instead. So everybody's, nobody's using the proper tools. So everybody's giving their hair damage because nobody's following the steps because everybody is listening to people who are non-professionals. Everybody's listening to non-professionals for a professional service and then wondering why their hair is falling out. This, this is just my theory though. You know, what do I know? I've just been doing here for 14 years, but you know, it's just my theory. Oh, well, if it's already mixed, then it's fine. Look, if it's rose water, and if, if you bought it on Amazon, it's, it's fine. Scalp scrub recommendations. Um, Check my Amazon store, love. I'm gonna put, um, um the the links in the description box when we get down. Girl, no luster or pink. Oh my god, or grease in her hair. But I do need to worry about my hydrogen bonds when her hair is wet or leaving it in. Yes, no luster pink oil. Oh my god, that's what they was using when we was little. That's all they had. We got more now. 
Regardless of how good or bad they're doing with the country, God damn it, it's a woman that, that identifies as black as the vice president. Y'all do not have to keep using pink oil or moisturizer. Golly. Golly. I'm guilty of dig tangling my hair, washing it, putting it in braids, sitting under the dryer until it's about 90% dry, and then blow drying because my arms don't hurt as much. Yeah. I promise I could say that my last session, she only had to do some dusting to my ears because she said they were good. It was my first time I've ever experienced that and my fourth time going to her, but I sincerely appreciate your response. Yes, that's what I mean. That's that's all you need. And now if you keep up with your regimen with her, even if you only go to see her every 10 weeks, when it's time for your trim, I guarantee you, you're going to hold on to length. Because the women that y'all be comparing yourselves to, they will go to the shop just to get a trim. No style, no nothing. They'll go in with wet hair for a haircut and then leave and go home with wet hair. I've seen it all the time. It's like, oh my God, girl, thank you so much. Oh my God, I needed a trim so fucking bad. Like seriously, because Jackson was talking about my my ends and I was like dude seriously it's not been 10 weeks it's only been seven but you know thank you girl oh my god oh my god here's a little tip for you as they going like this and wrapping their hair in a bun and walking out with wet hair they only came for a trim it's okay for you to do that but you have to stop being scared of getting a trim there's a difference between a trim and a haircut and you can book a consultation. Stop just randomly going into hair salons. Book a consultation. And if she don't do consultations, then she probably not the stylist for you, boo. Just being real. Can you put some more books on your Amazon store to the herb and psychopenia cure my, ooh, really? Oh, I'm so excited to hear that. Yes, I will, just for you, babe. I see you two wash and goes, wash and go, then blow dry to see me. But this is the thing. I'm just being real. Like, wash and go is is a trending topic. It's what triggers the algorithm. That's what y'all want to see. So that's what they're making. Because if somebody just do something random that y'all never heard of, nobody watches it. And I know that for a fact, because a lot of the stuff that we're talking about, I already have videos of it, but it didn't trigger the algorithm. So those videos are still on my channel right now, but they got like 2000 views, 1200 views, which is fine. Who cares? Because the people who needed to see it already saw it. But it's not that, oh, everybody's making wash and go. That's all people want to see. If it's not something easy, quick fix, people don't want to see it. That's just the reality of it. And it's, it's, it's fine. It's okay. But that's the real. It's not just, oh, everybody only doing, everybody only doing wash and go. That's all anybody wants to see. Everybody wants a quick fix. Don't nobody want the like the 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 long way. Everybody wants something like, oh, you put this in your hair and you your hair gonna grow in 45 minutes, six inches in 45 minutes. It's gonna grow in 45 minutes. I threw that pink oil in my friend house in the damn trash and show her a comedogenic oil chart. <sighs> Thank you. I'm sick of it. Thank you. That's what you tell her. Just mess on her poor little scalp up. That's what I'm talking about. And I don't care if you mad. I told you to leave if you sensitive. The problem is everybody like, oh, my auntie was using this. Why are y'all acting like all y'all aunties got hair in the middle? I was doing some of y'all aunties hair, some of y'all mamas and some of y'all grandmas. Y'all are not going to sit up here and act like all y'all grandmas got all their edges and all y'all grandmas got all of their hair in the middle. We're not about to do that. We're not about to do that. Y'all know all y'all grandmas and all y'all aunties do not have edges. Every 
everybody that was using pink oil moisturizer and stuff like that, everybody do not got edges. Let's not act like that. Let's not. Okay, let's know. <laughs> My husband is over here cracking up at you, shutting everything down. No, I don't want your husband to think I'm a bad person, but it's just like, dude, like it's dumb. It's so dumb. I want us to just think. Like if we just think about stuff, like didn't our mamas tell us that? Like if every if 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 Johnny jump off a bridge, you gonna jump too? Like that's what everybody mamas and aunties should be asking y'all, because everybody just monkey see monkey do. That's what everybody do, and then they be like, oh my god, she cut all her hair off because the one one of two of the chicks that like made the bag and met to go viral have cut all of their hair off. So now in a couple years. And all of the girls who started the rice water stuff, they didn't all cut all their hair off. And not everybody just walk around like, oh my God, I ain't got no edges. Oh my God, why my hair falling out? And then we talk and they're like, I mean, well, I tried the bag and method before. I tried the rice water before. I tried the apple cider vinegar before. Actually, I mixed the rice water and the apple cider vinegar together. It's like, dude, I'm sorry. I speak for men too. Like, y'all husbands do not want to be sleeping next to no woman smelling like pickle juice and wick rice. Like, come on. It's products that smell good. Y'all don't got to be doing like that. Come on. Come on. Ma. Thank you. The auntie wore the bougie wig because she was bald. Hey. All the fir all the church ladies with the wigs is not wearing the wigs and the hats because they're cute. Some of them wearing the wigs and the hats because it's like, hello, surprise in the middle. Let's stop. Oh, my auntie and my grandma was using this and I know. And that's why they all boy headed and don't act like they not because they was booking appointments with me. Y'all could try that with the other YouTubers, but I did hair for 14 years. Over 40,000 clients. I have it in my books. I did the math and it is a fact. Over 40,000 clients. All y'all aunties do not get hair. Shit. Everyone think I'm crazy for not doing anything to her hair. They want me to put it in a ponytail so bad. I'm not breaking her hair off. My, let me tell you something. You don't listen to none of them about their damn kids because I'm from the D, okay? And when I was in middle school, it was parents just like the ones that are like, oh, you put her hair on some braids. Don't just have her hair still like that. And by the time they daughters, <laughs> yeah, I'm a child. By the time they daughters got to middle school, they was walking around with ponytails like this. Stop me when I'm lying. Stop me when I'm lying. Walk around like this. It was always some stank ass girl that want to start stuff. And she got jam slicked everywhere with a ponytail this big. And it's her whole head. That's too big. That's too big. Just like this. That little, there we go, right there. The little fan spread. Right there, just imagine ain't none of these braids here, and that this a slick back ponytail. It'd be one girl, like, and then they had that ponytail spread it out, like, yes, see. <laughs> like, those was like, stop playing with me, stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> those was the same girl with no, do not do that to your daughter. Because then she's going to be bald head. No. Don't listen to that. Your daughter, no. Leave her hair alone. Let her sit there with her curly stuff. Stop me when I'm lying. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Them little fan ponytails that's split up in threes. Just be on your head like that. And there was always a stank one. It's like, what? What? And if you from the D, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because those was the chicks that had on the different color flower flip-flops. Please give me a tool if you know what I'm talking about. If you're from Detroit 
or somewhere around there. I don't know if other places had it, but the hood red girls with the flat fanned out ponytails and the colorful flower flip flops. And give me a two if you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> the Tommy Pickles ponytail, yes, ma'am. That, that fan pony, yes, ma'am. Or that fake bun, that drawstring ponytail. See, the drawstring ponytail, that was the update. All right? So the fan ponytail, that was middle school rat. Like, yeah, like middle school, elementary school hood rat. But then you grab the, the hood, rat, hood rat graduation is the drawstring ponytail. So once you get to high school, you didn't graduate and you get your hood rat drawstring. Hello. So don't, let's not try to play. Mm -hmm. That's why the temporary tattoo edges are trending. Listen, this is the last thing I'm going to say. Do we going to move on? Because I want nobody to get mad because girls be getting mad at me when I say this because y'all think I'm supposed to be on y'all side, but I'm not on y'all side all the time. Like, I think it's so ridiculous. Like, <laughs> that is so messed up for dudes. And I'm going to say this. I think I only feel like this because I have a son and I know that my son going to be out here in these streets. That is so messed up. I'm just being real. That is so messed up. A dude seeing you and y'all out and you all. Mm -hmm. I, ain't been, I ain't been out here in these streets in a long time. I ain't never been in the street, but I've been off the market since I was 19. So just you wait. Y'all be all. Mm -hmm twerking and stuff, and he was looking at you, girl, you all swoopty la dupe. You, I'm talking all swoopty la dupe, and then y'all go do whatever, and your whole swoopty la dupe is on the pillow. Like, the whole, he thinking you got hair to back here, and then he meets you for real, and your hair started back here. Sis, look, y'all need to stop. Focus more on getting the shit together, then y'all are on pace and stuff on because it's wrong. It's not right and it's rough. It's not okay. Walking around school loud, eating hot Cheetos. Hey, it's K. You are from Detroit, Michigan. Listen, you just gave me mental flashbacks, okay? Because you from the D. So you are the only person in here who gonna understand why my husband don't like red hair. Like as much as many of y'all like that, uh, the way that I look at red hair, when my husband sees me with red hair, all he thinks about is, what? The loud ones, eating hot Cheetos, wait, hey, hey, wait, what you, <laughs> like, yeah. So the hood rap punk, the you, mm -hmm. wait. It's so cold in the D. I want to play it, but we're going to get copyright. Somebody look up It's So Cold in the D. That's why my husband don't like red. <laughs> Sin had no chill. What I do? Or the fake bun. Yup. The sock bun. Oh, God. That was bad. Because everybody thought they could do a sock bun and you could only do a sock bun if your hair is long. So it was girls with like socks, a sock bun to have. Like how you got, how can I see the hole in your sock through your bun? Like, come on, sis. Come on, dog. <clears throat> come on, bro. Also, y'all did have it in New York? Okay. <laughs> Eating Cheetos, yes, hot Cheetos to be exact. And I like hot Cheetos too, but I eat hot Cheetos in the house. Hood rats in the DE hot Cheetos outside, like, wait, wait, yeah. wait, <laughs> I'm a West Side girl, and I. Not that, like, and, you know, some of the West Side ghetto girls were the ones I was like, eating hot Cheetos too. I was not one of those girls. Like, I'm one of the West Side girls that knows how to bury the ghetto. Like, when I need to, I cold switch very well. I'm from Cleveland. We used 
to do them fans with the jail down bangs over one eye. Yup. Yup. So it looks like this hood ranch, it was worldwide. Turns out the pillow got a swoop, <laughs> got a swoop to do. Yes, with the damn pick. Oh my God. Like, hey, is K, you make it, have you noticed how you make my head? <laughs> Oh my God, y'all just imagine how hood radish this is. Like, and then to me around that time, that was around the time then, dun, 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 or like shortly after that. So they was all walk around with their two little pants on, with their thongs on, with their hot cheetos on. Just imagine how hood radish that look. Like with a bag of hot cheetos over here and a pickle, and they would have a pickle still in the, in the plastic wrap. But the pickle inside of the hot Cheeto bag, like, wait, I guess, wait, ah, uh -uh. <laughs> Philly too. Oh, church ladies, I ain't gonna get on the church ladies though because. The church ladies, for the most part, they older. Like, they ain't care. They like, let me put, hey, baby, come over here and put this shit on me real quick. Like, most of the old ladies at the church was getting their ponytails put on in the bathroom. So I can't even say that. What? No. No. Thank you, Tanya. No. Yes, I just said moo for the cowbell. Girl, you made my eyes water. You know, oh, moo. <laughs> Money makes me excited. Then moo. <laughs> that was for the cowbell. <laughs> oh, I should have did that because now somebody else do it from now on. I'm going to have to moo, which is okay, girl. Hello, Tanya. How are you? No, thank you for everything, Tanya. Listen, Tanya got hang time out here in these streets, y'all. Tanya is the OG, like, period. You screaming. that You screaming because you know what I'm talking about. And I want to send you, hey, it's Kay, give me hug because you there still. You, you, you still there? You still see hood rest stuff all the time. I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. Hello. It's okay. You okay. Listen to Big Shine new album. It make you feel good. Make you feel better. <laughs> okay, do you guys have any questions for me before we go? It's only 5.30. Tanya is an overachiever, but I love it. Move! <laughs> Move! <laughs> they did it in Jersey too? So y'all all been, oh my God. I thought that was just the Detroit thing. They would be walking. And I'm telling you, the girls with the fan ponytails was the ones who wanted to fight because they had nothing to lose. They're like, bitch, I ain't got no hair. What up? Anytime a girl that looked like that wanted to fight you, this ghetto stuff I'm from Detroit. Anytime a girl like that was trying to do something, you like, girl, let me wrap my hair up. A girl that looked like that with ponytail like this, that's somebody that you got to be like, okay, she going to try to mess my face up because she got that little hood right point with them hot Cheetos and that fit. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, thank you. Even though I'm just getting into the guru, I already know it's about to change the whole game for me. Ooh, so what I want you to do, if you just join guru, let's say this weekend, right? <clears throat> Let, you know how you pick a show on Netflix or something and you just binge watch a whole season. So that's what you go. Oh, so that's what you're gonna have to do with me. So once you become a member of the Guru One on One, what I need you to do, don't worry, Guru One on One members, I'm not gonna show nothing. So once you become a Guru One on One member, what you have to do is go on there. And start from the, I'm not even logged in, so I couldn't show you if I want to, that's the Lord. So all you're going to do is just make sure you go on the website and go to the Send Out TV tab, which you will have access to with your membership. 
and go all the way to the bottom and start from video one. Because I know naturally the first thing you wanna do is start in my latest video. Don't do that. All of my videos, as long as you have your membership, they are not going anywhere. Take your time. You are moving at your own pace. Even though a lot of people get inside of our discussion group and they feel like they got to catch up with everybody else, you do not have to do that. If you jump into the discussion group and you see that we talking about scientific brushing, but you still need to detox the scalp, don't even join in at that point of the conversation, boo. Go all the way back to my old videos the old blog posts that are not older blog posts, but yeah, the older blog posts that are within the Guru 101 and start from scratch and work your way up. And at any time you have a question, ask it in the comments on the blog or come in the discussion group and do it. And I will do a video just for you inside of the Guru 101. That's what it's all about. So even if you have a question about a topic that I address three, four months ago, it does not matter. I will come back around and make a video specifically for you because your issue is going to be different than somebody else's. So if you still aren't getting what you need within the Guru one-on-one, then you could just shoot back and come in the discussion group, make your request, and then I make the video specifically for you, tell you exactly what to do, your product recommendations, everything, all right? So I hope that answers your question, boo. <clears throat> We've all been traumatized. I'm sorry. How young to start trimming a girl's hair? Uh, I started trimming my daughter's hair when she was like three-ish. Feel like 9 p.m. Listen, I thought it was, I thought it was. And I'm in... Vegas, so I'm behind y'all. It's only 5.34 here, and I just knew, like, oh, it's about to be 7. We got to wrap it up, but it's 5.34 here. Gym Naturals, hey, sugar foot. The fan ponytail, because you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I'm about to find one. Are you a fan of, if not, that's okay. I don't know who that is, so no. I don't want to say that I'm not a fan. I just don't know who it is. Daylight savings time is the be is the bush because damn my dog got an attitude because he like hey it's time to eat but we like babe let's he okay now but he was having a smooth attitude when it first started. <clears throat> I didn't put oil on my scalp. And the amount of dead skin that came off was crazy. Boom. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like, just try it. Because what I'm telling you to do is, is you're going to save money. So it doesn't even make sense not to try my tactic. Because I'm telling you to stop using all of the stuff that you're using. And just work with your body. So, I mean, you don't lose no money. Nothing. You only gain with what I'm telling you to do. And if it don't work, what you've been doing ain't working. So, but it's going to work. I know that for a fact because, because I just do. I'm good, boo. Just washing my hair. All the plants for the first time ever. Oh, you using it right now? Which one are you using? What you using right now? Once you watch the first video, you are going to binge watch them all. And yes, she will do the video. I promise you, I will do it. Do just let me know what you need and I got you. I'm telling you, Guru one-on-one -on -one members can vouch for that. You tell me you got a problem. I'll be like, girl, hold on. Wait a minute, I got you. I'm telling you, will you do the Zoom thingy when she starts offering it, I would love to see your growth. You're always on live. Tanya was on here before, for sure. I'm sorry for creeping you out in your previous chat. Can you accept my apology? You ain't creep me out. I don't know what you're talking about. Someone asked if the Revere blow dryer, I want to know too. Yeah, it's cool. So blow dryer is a blow dryer. I was bland watching Sands YouTube. So I'll switch to one-on-one -on -one now. Yes, switch to, because a lot... I'm going to be super transparent. 
Like, and I don't, it's not even being transparent because you guys know what's been going on with YouTube and social media and the algorithms and stuff. And so I'm not going to fight with the algorithms anymore. So like I said, on Guru One-on-One, whoever already has the membership, they're there for the science of hair. You know, so all of the videos that I make on the science of hair, on porosity and stuff like that, I can, I know that the time that I put into it, it isn't wasted because all of my members get to experience it. Everyone gets the notification, you know, the, a direct email for me. Sometimes I'll even send out text messages. So it's a group, it's a community where iron sharpens iron. Um, actually, I want to show y'all something. Yep, I do. Hold on. Oh. Um. I did just log in. That was quick. I could have did that before. Hold on, sugars. Hold on. Yeah, I just don't think. Oh, here we go. I just don't think the Lord wants me to share the stuff with you <laughs> because it's just, just being, it's just way more complicated than it needs to be. So, okay, hold on, what happened? Prefer flat iron. Um, I've been using the same flat iron since I was in cosmetology school. And nano titanium baby blitz is my favorite. I don't think I'm, I, I, I just, I can't really, that's probably the only conversation that I don't feel like I could weigh in on. Like, oh, what's the best flat iron between this one and this one? I've used the same flat iron since I graduated cosmetology school. I was using EAP heat for a split millisecond. I don't have anything bad to say about EAP heat, but. I just prefer my nano titanium baby boots. It's just, it's just the weight of it, the way it feels in my hand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just my tool of choice. If we join, if we join one on one, do we need to book a consultation? To no, mm -mm. you don't book a consultation unless you want to. Tanya, see, I must have missed it. Planning on coming back to the one on one group after I get done with this semester. Seeing Save My Life in My Hair. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Okay, you guys, shoot away with your questions really quick. I'm going to answer a couple of questions and then we can wrap it up. I ain't going to hold you too long, player. You know what I'm saying? I love me some sins. She thinks she get out of her private meet and greet, but I'm still on it. You know what? I'm not going to lie. Like, as soon as Jumanji is over all the way, because people think it's over. The, as soon as Jumanji is over all the way, we're going to do, we're going to do something. We're going to do a little something, something. We're going to do a little something, something. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do a little something, something. <laughs> But like I said, you guys, ask me your questions. I know it's a little lag because I'm on Zoom and then take a minute for it to come back here. I think you would look beautiful with straight hair. I do look really hot with straight hair. I do. You know, and that's the great part about being a Black woman. And that's why I want us to, I want to, I like having these conversations that may be uncomfortable for some people because once the team natural community took off, people were like, Black women everywhere are like, you got to pick one. So black women, you have to wear your hair curly. Women with naturally straight hair, you have to wear your hair straight. Women with naturally wavy hair, you have to wear your hair wavy or straight. But if you're black, you can only wear your hair curly. That ain't how it go. It's not. Black women have every option. And this isn't to be disrespectful to any other race or anything like that. I'm not saying that. We just spitting facts. Black women have every option, every last one. I could wear my hair curly. I could wear it straight. I could wear it wavy. And guess what? My shit can last a week, two weeks, a month if I wanted to. 
I have multiple options that have a very, very long time span versus other races or other textures that have one option. So if your hair is naturally straight, you have one option. Your hair is straight or it's straighter. Your hair is wavy or it's straight. Like that's it. But black women have every option. I can set my hydrogen bond to be whatever curl pattern I wanted to. And if I do it properly, my hair will go back to curly every single time. The video that I just uploaded today is what I do every week. My hair, I blow dry my hair every single week. And I do not have one drop of heat damage on my hair. And you can see it in the video that I just posted today. So it's a myth, period. Like black. Black women, you have more than one option. Curly hair is not your only option. Curly hair is just the option that you have that other people don't have. Just because as a Black woman, I have the, the ability to do something that you can't do doesn't mean that I can only do that one thing. Just because other races only have one option doesn't mean that I have to pick one option. No. I have a plethora of options. I could be whoever I want to be on whatever day I want to be. I could wear braids one day. I got my hair straight and silky one day. I could have a fro one day. I could have a blown out fro one day. I could do whatever I want to do because I'm sovereign and I run my body. And my body and my hair can morph into any form that it wants to be in. That is the magic of a Black woman. It is bondage of a Black woman that says, I can only wear my hair curly because that's what makes me a Black woman. It is bondage that says that a woman's connection to God is through her hair. And the only way a woman is beautiful is if she got hair down her back. That's bondage. I'm free <laughs> and very sovereign. So... Y'all need to break free from the chain. Like y'all so, y'all don't even realize that you're so free that you have the ability to choose chains. Y'all so free that y'all choose y'all own chains. Y'all get the freedom to do and to make whatever choices you want to make about your hair. But then you choose to keep yourself in prison. Like my hair is curly. It can only be this way because I'm black. No, no. Those are the chains that y'all set for y'all self. But I do not believe that all Black women have to fall under that umbrella. It's some bullshit, period. I'm sorry. If as a Black woman, you find your security in curly hair, then do your thing. But we got to stop attacking each other because everybody doesn't find their divinity in curly hair. That's not everybody's thing. I'm just being real. Can we use pre-made organic? rose water essential oil instead of distilling our own you sure can babe try to find organic roses yep you sure can yeah just make sure that it's organic and then make sure you just look at the ingredients and if the ingredients say anything outside of rose water and stuff that's familiar to you then you know keep it moving can you drop the link to join group one-on-one -on -one? um yes i can yes i can and then it's nine dollars and ninety nine cent a month. Hold on, I'll drop the link right now. Mm. Hold on, guys. Hold on, you guys. Wait a minute, guys. Hold on, guys. And I. See a couple of people joining the discussion group, and I promise. Here we go. I'm gonna um, let you guys in because I have to um, give you access to the group. So once uh, this live ends, then I'll go there. So the link that I just added is a blog post explaining a little bit more detail about Guru One On One, and then you can sign up through there. And just make sure you read through the whole blog post. What kind of story do you guys want? I've got to think of one. And yeah, how to join Guru One on One. The link is right there. I just put it right there. The versatility is the versatility for me. Can I apply oil as a moisturizer to my scalp when my hair 
is in a produ- protective style, just try not to. When your hair is in a protective style, you don't need to add oil to your scalp. You just need to make sure that your scalp is clean. You just need to make sure that your scalp is clean so that the natural sebum can come from your scalp. If there's any time that you do not need to add oil to your hair is when your hair is braided because you, the oil is like your, your sebaceous gland is right there. Like the oil is about to come directly from the scalp. You don't add more oil. You make sure that the scalp is clean enough for the natural oil to come out. Your body produces its own oil. You do not need to put more oil on it. You don't. <laughs> That's like spraying yourself with a water bottle while you in the shower. Like you don't have to do that. I had a dream that you styled my hair into a 2010 Justin Bieber style. That was a dream. <laughs> I wouldn't do you like that. You speak to me as if you were telling me how to do my own hair, like you were my own hairstylist, because I am. I'm your virtual hairstylist. Me over here praying I can get one more silk fusion therapy from seeing. Just to start me off, laugh out loud. Look, look, people in the shop, they gave me PTSD because I was reading your stuff and I didn't even see it was you yet. And I was like this. I was like, mm-hmm. Eyes free now. Eyes <laughs> free. Eyes free. All my life I had to fight. And eyes free. And I ain't never going back. Hey. Ratchet, you are the best storyteller. You should write a book. Call it Ratchet, Ratchet Skittles. Okay, 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 okay. So you a Ratchet story, Ratchet story. We all got, we got like fifteen minutes. No, like, like, like ten minutes. I could, I could pump out a Ratchet story in ten minutes. No, 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 no. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh. I'm trying to think of one. It's like just too many going through my head and some of them are too raunchy what do you recommend for a dry scalp your scalp is always itchy you have a clogged follicle you need to do a detox (laughs) okay okay I got one Cause some of my stories are really bad. Okay, I'll tell this one. And then as we going, if it start getting too bad, then I, I stop. We go tell this story, then we go. All right, so I had this one lady and she came in. This And this lady is over. Actually, okay, no, we won't do ratchet. This kind of ratchet. I'll just tell you a story. Okay, so it was this lady. My mom was here for this one. So it was this lady, and she was actually pretty cool, right? She came here for a consultation, and I want to say she was around, like, her early 50s, right? In her early 50s. So, <laughs> so when she came here for a consultation, she was, like, she was going to... <laughs> It's not, I shouldn't be laughing. She was going to her class reunion or whatever. And she was like, (laughs) she was going to her class reunion or whatever. And so I had ended up uh, doing a closure on her. She didn't want to do a frontal because she told me she just had a weird feeling. So she didn't want to do a frontal. So we did a closure and she said that she was going to come back when she, um, when she got off her, when she came back from her trip and then I was going to put a frontal in. So I'm like, okay, but when she comes back, and like she, when she left, everything was cool. So she comes back. And when she came back, she was like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I skipped the best part. Sorry. So when she, when she leaves, 
she was telling us all about her husband and stuff and how her, her ex-husband had died and she was sad and she found her a new husband. She was like, I got me a white man, girl. And I got a bunch of stuff done. So she ended up, and he didn't pay for it. She had her own job, but she ended up getting her butt done. So my mom is there and my mom has a way of making people feel like really, really good about that stuff, right? So the lady's like, yeah, I got my butt done. My mom's like, oh, girl, let me see, girl. But when my mom said, let me see, she meant like, like turn around like that. Girl, bye. The lady stood there and dropped her drawers completely. Like she just pulled her pants down completely and was like, girl, look, girl. And was like, look at how that you want to touch it. And my mama was like, no, I'm cool. I'm okay. So she sat there with her, like she didn't have her, her stuff out. She just had like air, it down cuffed under her butt. And so she talking, she like, they're going to be mad, but I already know, mind you, she's like in her 50s and she hasn't seen these women since she was like in her like like 18, 19. So I'm like, what beef could they possibly have? So she talking, she leaves or whatever, tips me, super nice lady. So then she comes back, like I'm going to say maybe like two weeks later. So when she comes back, right before she got there, she asked me, um if she could smooth her appointment because I want to say her appointment I don't it wasn't this exact time but her appointment said like one she asked if she could be my last client she'll pay me extra she just really don't want nobody else in the room so I thought that was weird because she was super cool the first time and so I just told her okay she walks in my room and she was a little lighter than me and she just like her eye went in black but it was like red like under here it was like red and so like a black I would be but it was just red and over here it was red she had like little scratch marks on her face like bruises on her arms so when I saw her I'm like oh my god what happened and she was like <laughs> took her glasses off and she closed my curtain and she looked she was like Remember what I told you how they was going to be jealous? They were so jealous of me. I walked in and said, look at my hair. And the whole, like, I put her closure on the side, like, over here. It was just a full bald patch right here. Not, like, skin bald. I mean, no closure there. And one of the braids was lifted. It was, like, detached. I thought she was going to have a bald spot but it was just thin. Some of the hair was definitely missing. And make a long story short, apparently when she was in high school, she had messed with all of the girls' boyfriends. Like she must've been in the class thought and they must've told her that they didn't care how old they was. When they saw her, they was gonna beat her up. And I guess when she got there, she was being flirtatious with one of the dudes. Cause I guess, she one of the ladies had double back and married one of them and they whooped on her ass. And she told me about the whole story. It was so sad. But I mean, I'm not going to sit here and act like I wasn't trying not to laugh. Not that it was funny that she got beat up. It was just the way that she told the story, the way she was talking. And it just, mm -hmm. so that was that. And I had to work my way through um, and take the braids down and stuff. And then as I was doing her hair, she was telling me how, cause it was like a party. And so she said that like when they was fighting, they started like kind of sort of jumping her and putting rice and stuff in her hair. And then as I'm taking the braids out, I saw the rice. And so I asked, I was just like, oh, that was messed up. That was bold. And then she told me that she was like, I mean, she just got mad because I went over to her husband and was like, oh, daddy, you look just as good as you looked in high school. And then she just punched me. Why would you just punch me? And I was just like, I mean, I ain't said nothing. I was just like, girl, yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. Like, I don't know why anybody will punch you. That's just like so crazy. That's so messed up. So yeah, that was a ratchet story, you know, um, 
old lady ratchet, but that's pretty much it, you guys. What I'm going to do when this video ends, I'm going to leave um, the links to Guru 101 in the description box below. And I'm also going to leave the link to my two new videos. Help me out, you know, the algorithm be on that bull snickle. So I have two new videos, one that I did earlier that was posted earlier today. And it shows my most recent lint check, even though that video was recorded at the beginning of the month. So my hair is longer than it is in that video that you guys are going to go watch. But go watch that video. And if you haven't seen my one with the red hair, go watch that one. All right. I love y'all so much. Okay. Tanya, I love you. Let's bring you. Thank you, Tanya. I love you. You are appreciated. Tanya's the real MVP. And on my next video, I'm sorry, I'm giving the I'm giving Tanya a shout out because Tanya B, first of all, I do know that. She just, she, she, she a Capricorn and Capricorns, they be bossing you around and they be doing stuff to make you feel like it's your idea to do stuff, but it's working, Tanya, you know, we gonna have a meet and greet and y'all can thank Tanya for that. I'm just saying, you know, I love you. I love you, player. P.S. I think that was my friend. Wait, <coughs> we were supposed to be going. Mommy 42, who was your friend? The one who put her booty meat out? That was your friend. They got beat up. So you know I ain't lying. You know that's some, that's some shit. You gonna remember that. Ain't can't nobody make that up. I'm about to go, but I need you to answer that question for me, Mommy 42. The one who pulled her booty cheeks out? You think that was your friend? Did her husband pass away? Tell your friend to stop pulling her buns out at the beauty shop. Tell her it's weird. Tell her, tell her it's weird. Mommy 42, oh, you think that was your friend? Tell your, give her a hug. Tell your friend not to be just showing people her cheeks. Tell her to show people from the outside because it's a little scarring. Like that was years ago. And I have a very photographic memory and I still remember her cheeks. And I don't want to remember her cheek. So tell her that's probably your friend. Did she have a boob job too? What's my idea? No, it's your idea, Tanya. Did she get a boob job too? Tell your friend to stop flashing people. Tell your friend. <laughs> Tell your friend, I know she happy about her buns and her new titties, but tell her to stop, tell her to stop just whipping her titties and her booty out in the middle of the play. Cause it was weird. And I just wasn't ready. Tell your friend, stop doing that. Tell her it's weird. Cause that day it got, it got shaky. Cause somebody had came in there and was asking me for change and her ass was out. It was weird. So they was looking at me crazy. I had to go down the hall and tell them like, Hey, I didn't tell her to pull her cheeks out. She put her cheeks out on her own and had nothing to do with me. So I love you, but tell your friend to keep her booty me in her pants and tell her to keep her boobies in her pants and tell her to stop getting, I hope she ain't get beat up no more at the place. Okay. Sorry, mommy 42, that I told all my followers about your friend booty me and about your friend getting beat up. Yeah, I know she got it in there. I don't care how she did it. Just tell her to stop pulling it out and showing everybody her raw booty meat because it's weird. Okay, so I love you. I love y'all so much. I love your friend too, but like I said, it's weird. Um, Amen, church. Uh, <laughs> y'all make sure y'all go watch my uh, 